What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Marky B's Gaming Seat and holy shit, you may have heard um, just on my last video me talking um, a bit about Kojima making Metal Gear Solid 5 and all that crap and the fact that his contract should be coming to an end any day now, well... Hallelujah, the day has finally come. 15th of December, today was apparently the day that Kojima's contract broke with Konami. So um, I'm guessing that he uh, can legally now come out and, and do what he wants. He can say what he wants. He can sign up with who he wants. And that brings the very next interesting piece of information. There has already been talks that um, Kojima is going to be setting up his own game studio. Potentially, he's been in talks with Sony. I mean, um, you know, we, we always thought that this may happen when, when there was word of, of Kojima leaving Konami. We, we thought that maybe, you know, Microsoft, Sony, I'm sure even EA, Ubisoft, those types of companies. No doubt everyone was trying to get on the fucking phone with him and find out what the hell he was doing, what the hell's going on, and does he want to come on board with them? Um, no doubt whoever he decided to go with would have given him um, a very big free reign to, to like, um, like it sounds like he's doing, to set up his own studio. He's hopefully going to bring his people across. So um, a lot of the people that worked on the Metal Gear Solid series, no doubt they can, they can now jump ship and say, fuck you, Konami. You know, and, and come across with him on that. It'd be really cool if he if he did that for, for his team. And, um, uh, and an, another interesting reason that, that may work out very nicely for him collaborating with Sony is are we gonna see are we gonna see him creating a horror game? Are we finally gonna see what PT should have emerged into? It's not gonna be fucking Silent Hills anymore. Konami killed that dead in the water as soon as they cancelled Silent Hills, as soon as they tried taking PT down off the PSN store, they 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 killed that franchise dead in the water. So if Konami's trying to think that they can come out with another Silent Hills and make it amazing and everyone's gonna love it then they've got another thing coming they're fucking done they are done i'm done with konami i, I like i i'm I've, I've jumped ship with them just like kojima's done and i don't i don't want anything more to do with them oh man sony has a pictures entertainment studio sony pictures entertainment um, they obviously have ties with Guillermo del Toro, potentially, with, with the film, being in the film industry, you know, so that's another contact that, that Microsoft probably didn't have. So I'm really, really interested to hear if um, Sony have maybe smashed one out of the park and just said to themselves, you know what, fuck it, we're going to get hold of Guillermo, we're going to get hold of bloody Norman Reedus, we're going to get hold of Kojima and we're going to make this shit happen. They saw how hyped fans were. PT was an exclusive only for the PlayStation 4. You know, I think Sony saw how, how much the fans appreciated that and, and how much people were, were gutted when that went and um i think i think sony were like you know what we're we're gonna sort this out we're gonna sort this out for the gamers and um none of that is is confirmed that's obviously all rumor this news is literally just come to surface so we're probably going to find out fairly soon what's going on um it sounds like things are already quite down the way you know there's there's new, like kojima has definitely set up his own his own gaming studio so i think um i think yeah like this has been this has been in the works now for a few months and really good times ahead i'm glad kojima is jumping straight back into it and he's not taking a few years off to to recuperate or try and figure out what he wants to do he obviously had a clear direction of where he wanted to go what he wanted to do and um this is this is showing that you know he's 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 unstoppable he hasn't he hasn't stopped from metal gear solid 5 and has already come out and potentially got his own game studio, and he'll he'll be kicking off hopefully development for for a new a new game soon. Um, while I love that it's potentially gonna be um, Sony exclusive, it's got it's got a, that's got to hurt a bit for for Microsoft fans if it is true. 
Um, I'm not I'm not into to like fanboyism or any of that kind of stuff. I think that like you know you should just enjoy games for what they are. This is obviously a move that Sony's done to try and. Um, keep their their market um lucrative and to to keep i guess at the end of the day they want to keep their 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 core fans happy and i i've been a core fan of of sony's console since playstation one i've owned an xbox in between and and in various nintendo consoles but you know I, i really have been been with sony since day one so um I I can get I get really excited about this kind of stuff and and wow if they if they start a brand new horror IP with the new Kojima Productions that's I mean that that excites the hell out of me man that really does but anyway it's just a quick video to let y'all know that shit has gone down what do you think i'm just about to jump in and film my cock ups of 2015 i'm sure there's one on that list which you could probably imagine i'm gonna have a, a good little rant about but i'll save it for that video and catch you guys on the next show